Heavy keys together. Count to six and then release the heavy one. Keep holding auto. Auto and heavy, hold them down together. Yeah. Hold them down together, count to six. And then release heavy. Keep holding auto. Service mode. Error zero six hundred one four nine. Okay. And again. Error one zero five zero one two four. Okay. Again. Error two. Six hundred one four nine. Okay. Again. Again. All right. Error three six hundred one four eight. Okay. Again. Error four zero five zero one two four. Error five zero five zero one one eight. Right. Error six zero five zero one two four. Okay. And again. Error seven nine eight zero. One nine nine. Okay. All right. Error eight zero five zero one two four. Error nine zero five zero one one eight. Alright. So those are break and resets in the middle of cycles. Um again. Again. Uh error zero six hundred one four nine. Okay, so we're back at that. Alright. So um What do those error codes mean? Um, uh, they are uh, diverter valve issues, um, power interruptions during during the um, cycles, and um, wash pump uh, overheats and things like that. <clears throat> uh -huh. All of which will generate a, a fault code that causes you to call for service. So if that's not what they're reporting, then these may be know old codes and things like that but yeah. um okay so let's see um if you could go ahead and let's bring some water in if you hit the normal button i should toggle your solenoid on normal button okay with the door closed obviously right and actually don't hit the door has to be closed. all right <clears throat> yeah something's activating Yeah. We're just going to bring in water until it's above those screens. Yeah, it's filling up water. Okay. Go ahead and um, stop. 
stop it. All right. And then close that dispenser um, door. Yeah, it's closed. And then and the start button will toggle that solenoid. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, I turned off that valve and uh, you want me to hit start? Yeah, hit start, see if that dispenser opens. Do that a few times just to verify that that coil works consistently mm -hmm. when it starts to get warm. Yeah, it, it, uh, it popped open. Yes, sir. It popped open. Got it. Okay. All right. So, if you could now, please straighten the spray arms. Um, Straight? Like, looking towards me? Just so you know where they are. All right. Just put them in a position where you'll know if they've moved. Okay, yeah. And then we'll, um, we'll hit heavy to toggle that circulation pump on. Close the door, and then it should run on that circuit for us. All right. And when you when you hit the heavy, you should have seen it go from off to on. If it didn't do that. It means it wasn't enough water in it to turn the pump on. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's pumping. You can you can hear it. Okay. Yes. Right. Let's let that run for a little bit and see if it'll switch that inverter and run them. Spin both arms. Um, so let's see. Do that now, crack it open, see oh. which one moved. Alright. Yeah, both of them, both of them moved. Okay, alright. So go ahead and hold down the cancel key, please. And, um, the cancel key is on the middle exit service mode. Alright, and exit. Options for advanced features. How long do I have to hold it for? Should we take about 10 seconds or something? Should the user setup open? User setup, yes. Okay. We're looking for um, uh, rinse aid dosing. Language, connect, tone level, notification, scroll rate, display, display, floor light, rinse aid dose. Here we go. What's this set at right now? One. So if you 
you um, go to normal, which is, or auto, I guess it would be, um, and then press the options key once, it'll take you through the options within that cycle. All right. It says delay start off. Okay. And then each time you high temp you wash. Sorry, high temp wash off. Okay, that's that's the setting that we're looking for. So we're gonna to wanna to turn that on. Okay. So um, if you hit the enter button, it should change that to, to on. Yes, sir, it changed it to on. Okay. So on this unit, you need to complete a cycle with those options selected for it to become the next default, right? So now if it completes this auto section with the high temp on, it'll do high temp automatically every time, okay? Right. High temp is crucial for this thing to work right, all right? Uh, so the problem is if we set it for one, it doesn't mean we've set it for all of them. There isn't a... a high temp mode for, you know, select all type of things. So each mode that she uses, she would have to turn that on. So obviously, if we did that now, we couldn't get them all to set unless we sat and waited for each one to finish. But um, mm -hmm. so I, I think, um, I mean, ideally what we would do is explain to the customer how to check for that. Okay. Um, and, 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 and make sure that when they're going through tap options a couple of times, make sure the high temp wash is on. If not, hit enter, turn it on, then hit start. Um, if, if we get in the habit of doing that for the cycles that we use, mm -hmm. uh, our cleaning results are going to improve significantly, and um, and perhaps we can, um, you know, uh, you do, this thing will do what she expects it to do. Right. Um, that's probably all I would suggest for now, based on the fact that we don't. I don't see anything else that's major. All right. Um, and then we would just have to get more more information on what does she mean when she says it doesn't finish. Got um, it. And uh, and then we can focus uh, on that. So. Okay, I'll make sure to explain her that, and then uh, yeah, right. I appreciate it. Alrighty, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you.